Now, hey everybody, welcome into this new video. I'm going to be showing you how we can connect with our teammates using Slack. Uh, this is a great feature for communication if you want to send a lot of documents, if you want to create a Zoom. I mean, I use a lot of WhatsApp groups for my own company, but since I founded this Slack.com application, everything is just much more easier. So let's dig into it. I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description if you want to have the free trial version of Slack. As a matter of fact, I do think that you have an up to 90 days, 90 days of free trial, so you might want to take advantage of that. So uh, with that being said, let's get started. What I want to do is to sign up using a Google account or an email address. So lastly, what I just need to do is to provide my name, my last name, what's the name of my company, and if you want to skip everything for now, you can do that because I'm going to be showing you how we can customize that uh, right away. So after I do have an account here, I'm just going to close this for a second. I'm going to be showing you my main account of the Slack. It's going to be looking like this. So as you can see, I have already created some um, my first channel, my first uh, workspace is called Sounds Good. So I do have 90 days left to do the uh, full history. I can invite people in here. I can create another channel if I want to. I'm going to just don't do that at the moment. But what I want to do before I start working here into this lack.com, if you are like a geek and you want to see everything, like if everything looks good, well, what I can strongly suggest to you is to first of all, go into the upper side where you can see here, it's our account and I want to choose the profile option. I want to go into edit and here into edit, I can change my full name. And if I want to display a name, let's say for example, team member number one and the title, let people know what you do at sounds good. So let's say for example, that I am the CEO of this company and I can choose a name recording if I want to record my name so people can understand what is the the pronunciation, right? But it doesn't matter right now. I'm just going to leave it like that. Here I can uh, name that. Uh, here's the time zone. And lastly, we do have a photo that we can upload if you want to. If you do have something that you want to upload into your profile, I'm going to just do something like this. I don't want to focus a lot in here. I'm going to hit into save. And after that, I'm going to go into save changes. So now that I have my account already created, what I want to do is to create my first workspace. Now by default, the slack.com application already asked us if we wanted to create a workspace, but if you don't see any workspace, what you can do is to go into your browse Slack and here you can start uh, your own specific, uh, let's say for example, your workspace. But I do have something already created in here. Now we do have by default a few channels. If you want to delete one of those, you are actually good to go. I'm going to hit into leave this channel. I'm going to hit marketing, I'm going to hit leave this channel. I'm going to hit into the general. I'm going to leave it like that because we don't want to delete the general and the announcements of that I just created. So the channel is going to be helping us a lot to connect between all the team. So what we can do is to do some announcements. Let's say, for, for example, that I want to create in a channel. I'm going to create a new channel. And here I want to create something for help. So this is uh, only for uh, support with the application or the documents, something like that. And after that, I'm going to hit into create. So what's going to happen into this channel, enter a name or an email, I'm going to skip this for now, is that people can see, this is like the help center, the support center for my main team. If someone wants, uh, someone has a concern, an issue with the Wi-Fi, with the application of the uh, of this is lacked or with something that I'm just starting, let's say for example, I'm working into marketing and I'm into media and I don't see a lot of information about a specific uh, task, I can just ask them, I have an issue here, I have an issue, right? And I can mention someone if I want to, I need to talk with this guy, 
and hit into send. If you want to create like a direct message, here is the direct message. And here you might want to see all the teammates there are, uh, all the members that are here into your team. If you don't see anyone like me, what you want to do is to add them manually. You can choose the add teammates and you need to provide a valuable uh, email. And after that, I'm going to go for at, I'm going to change just my language like this. And here gmail.com, if you choose a comma, automatically it's going to be creating this option and I'm going to choose more and more and go into send. Or you can copy the invite link so people can uh, receive the link and they can just join as they just clicked into the link that you just sent them and your direct message is going to be now available. Now, the other thing that I want to show you in order to have great communications into Slack is the applications or the integrations of the channels. If I use the ad applications, these are all the tools that Slack can be helping us to customize and let's say to uh, make a little bit more faster our way to work into Slack. So for example, let's say that I do work a lot, a lot, a lot with Gmail. So what I want to do is to search the Gmail integration. As you can see here, it is Slack for Gmail. So in here, I can send emails into Slack to have a discussion to receive documents or whatever I want to do. If I want to send, for example, documents or whatever, I'm going to be choosing Drive. I do have Google Drive, I do have OneDrive, I have Chrome Drive, I have a lot of drives. I can go into Add. And what's going to happen is going to be asking us to install this application into Slack. So I'm going to hit into Add to Slack. I want to scroll a little bit down and choose to allow share access to my workspace, which is called Sound Good. So I just need to sign into my Microsoft account, which is actually this one. And lastly, I just need to go into Yes. If you go back into your Slack.com, into the app section, you might see that your application has been added now successfully. If you are like a guy that constantly are creating video chats, I can strongly suggest you to add a Google Meet or the Zoom application in here. And you have different comments actually that Zoom can be showing you. I'm going to go into show more. And if you want to memorize those, if you don't, it's totally okay. You're going to be having all these um, codes in here. So let's say I just want to join a meeting. I need to tap this bar, Zoom, join me. So here, something like that. Bar, Zoom, join. And I hit, hit into enter. And what I need to do is to uh, just authorize the Zoom application in order to enter correctly and my account. Since my account has been already listed, I just need to tap the Zoom meeting code and I'm going to be just able to enter like right away into my Zoom application. So that's how we can start to customize, to create communication between our group. I do love the fact that uh, here into the channels, we do we can create a specific channels for a specific topics. For example, as you can see, we've just created the Hope Center. I can add channels for, let's say, announcements like this, Pride for Collaboration on and this goes about a project for updates and work for the department or team. So if, if I want to add this project, here is the description. And after the description, I can choose this is only for project um, issues, something like that and hit into create. And the topics here, of course, are gonna be just specifically for that. So you can have like more organization between your channels and the communication through your workspace, through your teammates. So that's the reason why I do love to use the Slack application. Now, once again, you do have the link down below in the description if you want to have your free trial version. I'm pretty sure that you have up to 90 days of a free trial. So you might want to take advantage of that. Now, thank you once again for watching the video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more about the Slack.com application. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. See you next time.